we give out um, a Debbie Ardos Award um, every year. Last year I, I missed it because I had Covid so I couldn't present it. The dressed up this at the moment because my back is absolutely agony and I couldn't get it dressed up today. Uh, but I didn't want to miss this today, I didn't want to miss the, handing this over to a very good friend of mine. This particular person um, has been in the society longer than me. I know my stuff, but if I don't know her, somebody asks me a question I don't know, this is the person that I go to. He's very heavily involved in the Falkirk Cairn uh, and getting that built. Probably one of the nicest pe people and gentlemen guys that I've ever met. And he's, in, he's been in the society longer than me. And this is well deserved. So if he doesn't know who it is yet now, <laughs> Gordon Aiken. Years ago, a few years ago when I was unemployed, uh, quite a few years ago now, I took some of the my my, my influence in the world of society was this man here who this place named Arthur David David Arvos. And a good few years ago when I was unemployed, after we built the folk at Cairn, I brought some of the, the, the cobbles that were left. If you look at the tree over there on my right hand side, that was a wilderness uh, at the time. It was long grass, it was an absolute shambles and I brought a load of cobbles through, got some cement mixed up and basically laid them round about the, the base of the tree. Uh, arranged along the strath even at his hands to make a plaque for David Ross when he passed away and that was my personal tribute to David. And I received this today, as I say, it just means the world to me. Thanks very much. I know exactly how you're feeling, Paul. <laughs> right, I don't know if um, this PA system is going to last out the whole time, as you can hear it's cutting out a wee bit. But, um, it's got better batteries. He's got Poundland batteries in it. <laughs> I'll keep talking at the moment. Okay. Um, some of you will know that um, we were seriously hoping to switch on the new floodlights on the bridge this weekend. Unfortunately, um, due to another bureaucratic delay, St Andrew's night, hopefully, if that doesn't happen, they say, if you can't do it in St Andrew's night, maybe we can do it in Burns night. I thought Burns night, that would be brilliant, it would be snowing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still aiming for St Andrew's night, so fingers crossed, we switch on the lights at St Andrew's night, and you'll come and join us again. Now that is um, it's an initiative by the Guardians of Scotland Trust, uh, as is the flagpole and the information cairns that are over there because prior to the Guardians of Scotland Trust deciding that we had to do something with this site all there was was a wee plaque on the tree over